See you all with them on, so can't get older. It's, it's okay. sometimes tough. <laughs> you have to push your button to record you to turn that mic on. See it? Oh. Yeah, little, and this, no, little button in the bottom. Yeah, push it. Yeah. When you want it on. Just when push you're voting. It off, then so you're you're okay, tell them as you turn it off. <laughs> <laughs> Well, see, we record the meeting, so it, anything you might say under your breath or. Yeah, that's smart. Medical school. I just have I'm going to do two check for one of them for the break. And I both times it was being stirred at the check in. Yeah, they came in in a hot hurry and a hot leave. They came in. Michael came in uh, in Richmond, and Lenny is in Loudoun County. Now Lenny, Lenny went on back. Uh, it was he stayed two, three days, but. I miss Alga. Pull me over there one day. Back to a Baptist. That's the back row. That's the Baptist. Let me see what I can do. I said, I know how I used to do the blues. I went in there. It took me two doors while yes. I was a general closet open. I'm said, used to having somebody else start to meet me. Open, I always wanted them open. <laughs> That's why this is here. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen of the Mecklenburg County School Board, we'd like to begin our meeting, organizational meeting tonight. Um, I want to welcome our new members to be with us for the, <coughs> uh, the evening. And um, I'm being shown something. Mm. The agenda, just so you know yeah, what comes the agenda. next. <laughs> we have to adopt the agenda. Oh, yeah. Actually, it's, it's just... It's actually just a roll call. Just here. a roll call at this point. Yes, Ms. Giamatio, would you have a roll call, please? Mr. Ritchie? Uh, present. Mrs. Smith? Present. Mrs. Bailey? Present. Mr. Palmer? Present. Mr. Honeycutt? Present. Mr. Campbell? Present. Mrs. Garner? Present. Mr. Allgood? Present. <coughs> Mr. Edwards. Present. Okay, the first item on our agenda is the election of a new chair for this year. I would like to take nominations from the floor for the new chair. Mr. Superintendent, I'd like to nominate Ms. Dora Garner to fill that role for the next year. And we have a nomination of Mrs. Garner. Do we have a second? Yes, Mr. Superintendent, I'd like to nominate Mr. Gavin Honeycutt who has served this board well over the last 12 months as vice chair. He's had several opportunities to lead meetings um, in the last 12 months. We have to second. We, have we need a second, second first. We second have to wait for a second. Uh, second yes. Do I have a second for Ms. Garner? Second. I see. Okay. Do we have other nominations from the floor for chair? Yes, Mr. Superintendent. <laughs> um, I'd like to uh, I nominate Mr. Gavin Honeycutt uh, to fill that role. Um, he served this board well over the last 12 months as vice chair. He's had several opportunities to lead meetings in Mr. Sturdivant's absence, and um, he's expressed to me his willingness to serve and um, his desire to fill that role, and it is my pleasure uh, and my privilege to nominate Mr. Honeycutt for that position. Okay, do I have a second? Second. All right. Any other nominations from the floor for chair? Hearing none, um, Ms. Giamatio, we should have a vote for the first one nominated, which would be Mrs. Garner. Mr. Ritchie? No. Mrs. Smith? Yes. Mrs. Bailey? No. Mr. Palmer? No. Mr. Honeycutt? No. Mr. Campbell? No. Mrs. Garner? Yes. Mr. Allgood? Yes. Mr. Edwards? Yes. 
Do you want the, okay. Four yes and five no. Okay, we have a, not a majority on that nomination. We'll have a nomination or a vote for Mr. Honeycutt. Mr. Ritchie? Yes. Mrs. Smith? No. Mrs. Bailey? Yes. Mr. Palmer? Yes. Mr. Honeycutt? Yes. Mr. Campbell? Yes. Mrs. Garner? No. Mr. Allgood? No. Mr. Edwards? No. I have five yes, four no. Okay. Congratulations, Mr. Honeycutt. Thank, Thank you very much. much. You. Okay. Thank you. Seats. <laughs> <laughs> the way I see you now. Yes. <laughs> I wonder why they should put me in this place. Pass that around. This is a good seat. Oh, thank you, sir. Yes, sir. Thanks, Mr. Honeycutt, his name. We don't his want name. to lose track here. <laughs> I'll get it up here with you. Thank you, Ms. Smith. Thank you. All right, let me get back to, okay. Um, all right, at this point, um, we're moving on to our vice chairman. Do I have any nominees to come before this board on the floor for nominee for vice chairman? Mr. Honeycutt. Yes, Mr. Palmer. I'd like to nominate Dora Garner as vice chair. Second. I have a first and uh, a second for Mrs. Garner as vice chair of the Mecklenburg County School Board. Are there any other nominations from the floor? None being said, uh, Mrs. Giamatio, will you please uh, roll call for the vote? Mr. Ritchie? Yes. Mrs. Smith? Yes. Mrs. Bailey? Yes. Mr. Palmer? Yes. Mr. Campbell? Yes. Mrs. Garner? Yes. Mr. Allgood? Yes. Mr. Edwards? Yes. Mr. Honeycutt? I'm yes. sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> yes. The vote is unanimous. Congratulations, Mrs. Garner, as Vice Chairman of the Mecklenburg County School Board for this year. Yes, ma'am, if you'll. Come, Ms. Uh, Smith and Mrs. Garner will trade seats, please. No, change chairs. Change chairs, I'm sorry. <laughs> That's right, I'm sorry. She said that was her chair. <laughs> uh, oh. I take my chair. <laughs> I'm very curious. Uh, I know, I worked with That you. must be a vice chair. <laughs> 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 Don't smell bad. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get take a hint. Let's be with people. I'm going to steal her chair next. I'm going to steal her chair next. Well, hello. Hello. Wait a minute. I've seen you already can't. I've seen you already can't. I get that chair. Oh, Lord. I'm going to make a motion. I get that chair. All right. At this time, we were going to be um, uh, asking for um, our school board clerk. Uh, that Paula Giamatio be appointed as school board clerk of the Mecklenburg County School Board. Do I hear a motion? So moved. Second. second. A motion from Mr. Edwards, a second from Mr. Palmer. Mrs. Giamatio, roll call, please. Mr. Ritchie? Yes. Mrs. Smith? Yes. Mrs. Bailey? Yes. Mr. Palmer? Yes. Mr. Campbell? Yes. Mrs. Garner? Yes. Mr. Allgood? Yes. Mr. Edwards? Yes. Mr. Honeycutt? Yes. Can I get a motion uh, for our deputy clerk that Sharon, Sh Sharon Shuttleworth be appointed as deputy clerk of the Mecklenburg County School Board? Do we have a motion? So moved. Second. A motion from Mrs. Bailey, a second from Mr. Allgood. Roll call, please. Mr. Ritchie? Yes. Mrs. Smith? Yes. Mrs. Bailey? Yes. Mr. Palmer? Yes. Mr. Campbell? Yes. Mrs. Garner? Yes. Mr. Allgood? Yes. Mr. Edwards? Yes. Mr. Honeycutt? Yes. A code of conduct for school board clerk. Can I get a recommendation that the school board adopts a code of conduct for Mecklenburg County School Board clerks? Can I hear a motion? 
Second. I hear a motion from Mr. Campbell, a second from Mr. Palmer. Roll call, please. Mr. Ritchie? Yes. Mrs. Smith? Yes. Mrs. Bailey? Yes. Mr. Palmer? Yes. Mr. Campbell? Yes. Mrs. Garner? Yes. Mr. Allgood? Yes. Mr. Edwards? Yes. Mr. Honeycutt? Yes. Do we have a nominee or a motion to nominate anyone as parliamentarian for the Mecklenburg County School Board? Mr. Chairman, I would like to nominate Mr. Allgood to fill that role. I think he has some previous experience in that, and uh, we really need that since we've been without. All right. I second. All right, I have a recommendation that we nominate Mr. Allgood and a second from um, Mrs. Garner. Any other nominees from the floor? Is there any discussion from any of the board members? Mr. Honeycutt? Yes, Ms. Bailey. Um, my thoughts on this um, particular position, I'm sure Mr. Allgood will serve us well. And um, I would, uh, <coughs> some of my thoughts on um, this position is that as school board members, <coughs> we all have an obligation um, to make sure that we are uh, abiding by <coughs> rules and the governance of this body. And while a parliamentarian is, is helpful in providing that guidance, I think we all need to be uh, diligent um, to make sure that uh, we are going by the rules that we've set forth. So, um, Personally, I think that we, we should all um, strive to do that, and um, it, I, I don't, I'm not sure that we need a parliamentarian, but I would certainly support Mr. Allgood in, in that position, but I just think it's something for the board to contemplate um, that when we are having conducting our meetings, and if there's something that um, doesn't seem right to you as a school board member, um, we all have that um, right to speak up if we feel like that um, the rules are not being followed. So I just wanted to, to preface this vote by saying those things. And we have not had a parliamentarian over the last few months, and I'm not sure that anything is really any different <coughs> in terms of the way we do business because we haven't had one. So that's just all I'd have to say about that. So I'd just like to see someone fill that role in case we start acting stupid. We'll have somebody that can, as far as governance, to tell us that we need to change our ways or, or correct us in some of the mistakes that we do make, and we all make them. Uh, I make them and everybody makes them, so he can be, be kind of like a police officer or, or the man that reads the rules to us should we get out of line a little bit. Uh, you sure you want me to make that decision on people acting stupid, Mr. Edwards? I think you do very well. <laughs> Uh, I have no problem with what Ms. Bailey said, and if y'all choose not to have one, uh, I'm fine with it. If you choose to put me in that position, I'm fine with it. So, Mrs. I'm sorry. So, Mrs. Bailey, is it your recommendation that we not have a parliamentarian, or you were just making that for discussion? I just want to be clear. Well, it, uh, according to our policy, we may have a parliamentarian. Yes, ma'am. That it's is not, in our policy. It's not mandatory, but um, and it's 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 on the. I, I guess my, my my comment just is that. Um, should Mr. Allgood be elected to that position, and very possible, Mr. Allgood, that you will be, um, that's a lot of, of, of responsibility to put on one person, one member of this board. And I think we all have an obligation to hold each other accountable as we conduct business and, um, uh, and to be familiar with our policy and how we are to conduct business. Thank you. We have a motion and a second. I call for the vote. Madam Clark, roll call, please. Mr. Ritchie? Yes. Mrs. Smith? Yes. Mrs. Bailey? Yes. Mr. Palmer? Yes. Mr. Campbell? Yes. Mrs. Garner? Yes. Mr. Allgood? Uh, yes. <laughs> Mr. Edwards? Be careful what you ask me. <laughs> I didn't know I could vote for myself or not. Mr. Uh, yes. yes. No, good. Mr. Honeycutt? Yes. Item G, superintendent's designees, that Mr. Abe Jeffers and Ms. Christy Peffer be appointed as designees to sign official correspondence for the superintendent in the superintendent's absence. Can I get a motion? So moved. Second. I have a motion for Mr. Edwards, a second from Mr. Palmer. Roll call, please. Mr. Ritchie? Yes. Mrs. Smith? Yes. Mrs. Bailey? Yes. 
Mr. Palmer? Yes. Mr. Campbell? Yes. Mrs. Garner? Yes. Mr. Allgood? Yes. Mr. Edwards? Yes. Mr. Honeycutt? Yes. Item H, that Mr. Abe Jeffers be appointed as a designee of the division superintendent to attend meetings in the absence or inability of the superintendent to attend. Can I get a motion? So moved. Second. I have a motion from Mrs. Bailey, a second from Mr. Edwards. Roll call, please. Mr. Ritchie? Yes. Mrs. Smith? Yes. Mrs. Bailey? Yes. Mr. Palmer? Yes. Mr. Campbell? Yes. Mrs. Garner? Yes. Mr. Allgood? Yes. Mr. Edwards? Yes. Mr. Honeycutt? Yes. Item I, Go Governor's School Delegate. Can I get a motion that? Mr. Yes, Mr. Sir, Mr. Chairman, Mr. I'd like to nominate uh, Mrs. Garner to continue her work in that. In the, is that? Uh, is a delegate? Second. I'll, okay. I have a motion from Mr. Edwards, a second from Mr. Allgood. Is there any discussion? If not, Madam Clerk, roll call. Mr. Ritchie? Yes. Mrs. Smith? Yes. Mrs. Bailey? Yes. Mr. Palmer? Yes. Mr. Campbell? Yes. Mrs. Garner? Yes. Mr. Allgood? Yes. Mr. Edwards? Yes. Mr. Honeycutt? Yes. Item J, Governor's School Alternate. Can I get a motion that we submit a name for an alternate from the school board to serve in that capacity? I'd like to nominate Ms. Smith. A second. We have a nomination for Mrs. Smith. Uh, we have a uh, nomination from Mrs. Garner and a second from Mr. Ritchie. Any discussion? Madam Clerk, roll call, please. Mr. Ritchie? Yes. Mrs. Smith? Yes. Mrs. Bailey? Yes. Mr. Palmer? Yes. Mr. Campbell? Yes. Mrs. Garner? Yes. Mr. Allgood? Yes. Mr. Edwards? Yes. Mr. Honeycutt? Yes. Item K, that meeting dates and times shall be established as a third Monday of each month, unless otherwise noted, with closed meeting beginning at 6 and open public meeting beginning at 7. Meetings will be held at the school board office in Boyton. Can I get a motion? So moved. Second. Have a Mr. Motion. Chairman, yes, may I make I'm a sorry. comment? Yes, ma'am, you may. Um, would all of you please look at your meeting dates before you vote on it um, and look at the December date because of the approval of the calendar? The new calendar, yes. Um, the meeting date falls on the first day of our winter break. So it's my recommendation that you choose an alternate date. Okay. for that meeting. Our school board clerk has brought it to our attention that our December meeting for 2020 <coughs> will be on Monday, December the 21st, which is the first day of our winter break. Um, does anyone have a comment about an alternate date? Mrs. Bailey. The Board of Supervisors will be meeting the evening of the 14th, so we probably would not want to do it that Monday night, um, but it's possible the 15th. Uh, might be a suitable date. Uh, would that be enough time for finance to get bills ready and all that stuff? On the, the 15th, it's actually the third Tuesday. Would that suit? We have a recommendation that we do it the third Tuesday of December, which will be December the 15th, which is on a Tuesday. Any comment or discussion? Hearing none, uh, well, Ms. would you make that in the form of a motion, Mrs. Baylor, that we move it to that date, please? Yes, that we move. Um, I make. I move that we move the December 21st meeting date uh, back to December 15th, uh, 2020. Okay. Second. I have a, for, a recommendation from Mrs. Bailey. A motion from Mrs. Bailey. A second from Mr. Campbell. Any other discussion about? the meeting dates. Um, is the April meeting uh, away from break? I believe so, yes. I think the break in April is the second yeah. week. Easter's on the 19th. So we do come back to school on that 20th. Anybody in the room know? <laughs> Do you, you have the calendar, Ms. Adams? Uh, give me a minute. <coughs> December, December. Yeah. All right, let me look at the calendar. Everybody, just hold on for just a second. We'll have our school board clerk look at that date. 
the break that they voted on was uh, the second through the ninth. Okay. Because they they voted for option one. Now we yeah. we voted on option one. So yes, the Easter break is uh, two through nine in April. Okay, that means. So yeah, we'll be, we'll be. Yeah, everything's fine. Okay. All right. So we have a, a motion and a second. Um, again, for changing the the Monday meeting, the twenty first till Tuesday, the fifteenth of twenty twenty. Madam Clerk, roll call, please. Mr. Ritchie. Yes. Mrs. Smith. Yes. Mrs. Bailey. Yes. Mr. Palmer. Yes. Mr. Campbell. Yes. Mrs. Garner. Yes. Mr. Allgood. Yes. Mr. Edwards. Yes. Mr. Honeycutt. Yes. All right, item L, and it says prior to the motion, Chairman will recite this statement. As a member of my local school board, I will pledge to honor and uphold these principles, ever conscious that public office is a public trust. Can I get a motion that we adopt, the school board adopts the VSBA code of conduct for the school board members present? So moved. Second. I have a motion from Mrs. Bailey, a second from Mr. Campbell. Any discussion? Madam Clerk, roll call. Mr. Ritchie? Yes. Mrs. Smith? Yes. Mrs. Bailey? Yes. Mr. Palmer? Yes. Mr. Campbell? Yes. Mrs. Garner? No. Mr. Allgood? Uh, yes. Mr. Edwards? No. Mr. Honeycutt? Yes. Moving on to number four, adoption of the agenda. Can I get a motion that the school board adopts the agenda for this evening? So moved. Second. I have a motion from Mrs. Bailey, a second from Mr. Ritchie. Madam Clerk, roll call, please. Mr. Ritchie? Yes. Mrs. Smith? Yes. Mrs. Bailey? Yes. Mr. Palmer? Yes. Mr. Campbell? Yes. Mrs. Garner? Yes. Mr. Allgood? Yes. Mr. Edwards? <coughs> yes, uh, with exception. Uh, I see that we have closed meeting as, as for the that's the only thing on there for the but we didn't spell out why we're going into e executive session it says personnel matters regarding resignations retirement supplements adjustments okay, I got you. grievances I see. and discipline closed meeting for personnel okay mr. Honeycutt yes uh, number five, item A. Can I get a motion that the school board convenes a closed meeting for personnel matters regarding resignations, retirement, supplements, adjustments, employments, grievances, and discipline pursuant to Code of Virginia Section 2.2-3711A1? Can I get a motion? So moved. Second. I have a motion from Mrs. Bailey, a second from Mr. Palmer. Madam Clerk, roll call. Mr. Ritchie? Yes. Mrs. Smith? Yes. Mrs. Bailey? Yes. Mr. Palmer? Yes. Mr. Campbell? Yes. Mrs. Garner? Yes. Mr. Allgood? Yes. Mr. Edwards? Yes. Mr. Honeycutt? Yes. At this time, we will move into um, our closed session meeting. And, uh, we can just stay right here where we are, if that's OK, Mr. Nichols. Yes. Uh, and we will have everyone back in just a few. Can I get a motion that the closed meeting be closed when the board certifies that to the best of each member's knowledge only public business matters lawfully exempted from open meeting to which the certification applies? 
and only such business matters as were identified in the motion concerning the closed meeting were heard, discussed, or considered. So moved. I have a motion from Mrs. Bailey and a second from Mr. Palmer. Roll call, please. Mr. Ritchie? Yes. Mrs. Smith? Yes. Mrs. Bailey? Yes. Mr. Palmer? Yes. Mr. Campbell? Yes. Mrs. Garner? Yes. Mr. Allgood? Yes. Mr. Edwards? Yes. Mr. Honeycutt? Yes. Uh, Mr. Nichols, yes. Uh, number six, we have superintendent's information items. Yes, give me a second to get back to my... <laughs> Yes, um, there was some question about the uh, meeting that we had with the contract for with construction, with Cleveland construction. And uh, it was my understanding at the last meeting, as we brought that up, we had the money funded by the Board of Supervisors and we were looking to take that and approach um, that the, the comment as the um, I think it was Mr. Edwards that made the motion. He asked about the contract at that time and was of the understanding that, uh, as I told him, that the contract was in the hands of the architects, the company, the construction company, and uh, our school board attorney, and that he said, with that in mind, I think the motion that we accept. And so we moved forward, and I understood that to be what would be required to to move forward as the board accepting the contract. Now, that has apparently come into question, and so we have put it on the agenda if the board chooses to go ahead and validate that with a full vote by all of the board as a validation. I think it's a matter of the board to make that decision tonight. Okay. Right. Uh, board members, any discussion? I think it's a good move. Next. <laughs> all right. Anybody else? Any other discussion? All right, we'll move on to number seven, action, uh, personnel. Can I get a motion that the school board approves a personnel? What about the resolution? I mean, I'm looking, never mind, go ahead. I'm sorry, Mr. Ritchie? Never mind, go ahead. Again, personnel. Can I get a motion that the school board approves the personnel recommendations? So moved. Second. I have a motion from Mr. Campbell, a second from Mrs. Bailey. Madam Clerk, roll call, please. Mr. Ritchie? Yes. Mrs. Smith? Yes. Mrs. Bailey? Yes. Mr. Palmer? Yes. Mr. Campbell? Yes. Mrs. Garner? Yes. Mr. Allgood? I have to abstain. Mr. Edwards? Yes, with exception. Mr. Honeycutt? Yes. Can I get a motion that the school board ratifies the contract with Cleveland Construction for the new middle high school complex? So move. Second. I have a motion from Mr. Edwards, a second from Mrs. Bailey. Madam Clerk, roll call, please. Mr. Ritchie? Yes. Mrs. Smith? Abstain. Mrs. Bailey? Yes. Mr. Palmer? Yes. Mr. Campbell? Yes. Mrs. Garner? Yes. Mr. Allgood? I guess I have to abstain on that. Mr. Edwards? Yes. Mr. Honeycutt? Yes. Uh, before we move into adjournment, don't forget that we do have um, our board member training tomorrow that will start in this conference room with the VSBA. Uh, Mrs. Gina Patterson will be here and Samantha Bosserman. Uh, it will start at 10.30. Uh, Mrs. Giamatti will provide lunch from 10.30 to 2, and we hope to see you all tomorrow. Mr. Honeycutt, yes. uh, the board wasn't presented with this meeting, and it seems that it's, we're going to incur an expense. I think we should vote that we want the meeting so that it will give the finance person basically cover to pay them. It, it we wasn't had, presented. We presented, wasn't this on last month's? No. Uh, we hadn't voted on it. We hadn't voted on it. We, the recommendation went out that this, we had talked about this date. Yes, but we hadn't voted, and no one knew that was an expense to it. So we didn't, we hadn't voted to have it on that date. So therefore, I think we should vote so that uh, at least it will get covered to the finance person to pay them. It's not on the agenda to vote, though, right? It, it's not on the agenda, but. Mm. Uh, Mr. Nichols? Yes, sir. Would uh, we have the monies to 
incur the cost. Yes, we have checked on that. Yes. I know, I'll, I'll have to go back and review the video, but I know we discussed this at our last meeting about the date. We and everybody it. was That's on the board. I was so shocked, because I asked about I said, what meeting? Okay. And say, that's the reason why. Okay. Um, so at this point, we'll need a motion to amend that to accept or get a motion that we accept Mrs. Patterson and Mrs. Bosserman coming tomorrow for board new board member training. So moved. Second. I have a motion from Mrs. Bailey, a second from Mr. Palmer. Madam Clerk, roll call. Mr. Ritchie? Epstein. Mrs. Smith? Yes. Yes. Mr. Palmer? Yes. Mr. Campbell? Yes. Mrs. Garner? Yes. Mr. Allgood? Yes. Mr. Edwards? Abstain. Mr. Honeycutt? Yes. The vote passes. Can I get a motion for adjournment? So move. Uh, one, it starts at 10. It starts actually it's 1030. I'm sorry. Oh, okay. It's 1030. The, the, the agenda said 10. Yeah, I'm sorry. It's, it is 1030. Okay. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Motion to adjourn. Yes, ma'am. I, I, they, they said 10. Ms. Pat Ms. Patterson called me today and she said okay. 1030. So. Okay. So it'll be 1030 to 2. Okay. All right. Thank you. But if you're here at 10, you'll be on time. <laughs> Motion. I'm just saying. To adjourn. <laughs> Have a good night. Thank no. you. No, I didn't. I didn't. I just felt like if you're on time, you're late. If you're on time, you're running late.